Hi, welcome back to Shaving Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy. Hi, y'all. Welcome to, uh, you know, mid-morning on Thursday. But we're going to pretend like it's Wednesday. Because uh, Fuzzy, after church last night, sat down in his recliner and uh, crashed. So uh, I didn't get the Williams Wednesday shave in last night like I was planning. But uh, in my defense... I ain't caught up from all the sleep I missed with the turnaround either, and that's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. So there we go. This is the time warp you were expecting. But anyway, it's going to be worth it today because I got something really neat to play with, and uh, I think you're going to like. So for the Williams today, we're going to use our Vintage Williams Shave Stick. And uh, we're going to use that because I like Vintage Williams, just like everybody else like Vintage Williams. And, uh, you know, I have one, so I can't. So that's what we're going to do with that. Uh, for our brush, we're going to use our uh, Renotted Ever Ready 650 Pure Badger with the uh, Virginia Sheen. I think I used this the other day. There's a reason I use this blush a lot. I really love this knot. It, it's just really, 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 really nice. So we'll leave that soaking. And uh, aftershave today is going to be the Lustrous Coachman, which is, you know, what we know to be uh, just a different package for Clubman. So uh, Vintage Williams and Clubman. Not so bad. Got the Folgers 1850 coffee today because I'm using up the uh, the box of it I bought the other day. It's not a bad coffee. I don't, just don't think it's as good as the French market or the, the uh, community I normally drink. And, you know, whatever. It's okay. So well, before we get into that, I want to show you one other little thing. This is a little Ever Ready I got in the other day. And some stuff off eBay. And this is a uh, 500 Pure Badger PB. And uh, the knot's going to have to be replaced in this one. Unfortunately, it's not as good as the uh, uh, made right that I got the other day. This one's shedding pretty bad and all, so it's going to be a re-knot. And uh, that's going to go into a project for somebody else. So I just wanted to, how pretty is that? That is just a, an interesting handle. I may have to see if I can get uh, one of the brush makers to make me a wood handle that's, uh, you know, built like that. I think that might be fun to do now on to the razor today because this is really neat so i'm going through ebay the other day and of course everybody knows that i got bored and i spent too much money and you know it happens i get bored at work and boxes start showing up so i spent entirely too much money on ebay the last week or two and stuff started coming in but i've gotten some pretty neat stuff and we're going to get some good shaves out of it so you know sue me but one of the things that i got in that i thought was really neat i saw this one in the lot and uh, just had a picture, and I didn't know anything about it or anything, but uh, it just looked really neat, and it ended up I was right. It uh, is definitely really, really, really neat. Uh, it's a Clark's Silver King, it was called, and these were, uh, according to Waits Compendium, these were from, like, you know, the 20s, best I can, can do. So I put it 1920s and ish, you know, they, they weren't you know, an early 1900s thing, although they were patented in 1910, looks like. October uh, 1910, I think it's the patent date, or October 10th of uh, 1911, actually, is the patent date. So, you know, they were around. Uh, but the Silver King here seems to be from the 20s. So anyway, what it does, it's open comb, of course, and uh, it's got the little tabs on the side to hold the blade, but it's also got blade stops, so we can use modern blades in it. And I think actually by the time this came along, the, the later bottles, they were using modern blades anyway. But the really neat thing about this one is it's got this hinged plate in the floor. And then the handle screws into the bottom. And with this hinged plate, what you do is you slide the blade in over the plate and under the side clips up to the stops. And then when you tighten the handle, it pushes the plate up against the blade and wedges it into the stops, and that's how the blade holds in, which is really neat. Now the handle has a crack in it, uh, kind of like the Gillette Olds did, and it's a pretty good size crack, so I'm gonna have to stabilize that, and uh, you know before it cracks all the way down, I'll I'll get some uh, I'll work on that here before long, getting it stabilized where it doesn't doesn't crack all the way down, but. Uh, you know, that was these press fit handles like the Gillette, the Olds and stuff. That was a pretty common thing and it doesn't really hurt anything and it's not that big a deal. I think it's a really, really, really neat razor. So what we're going to do, we've got a new pile and we're going to slip the pile in and it's going to go, like I said, over the plate, under the catches on the side, whatever those are called. Make sure the handle's screwed down because you can't have any pressure on the plate. I've noticed when I was playing with it 
and then we're going to slide the blade all the way up to the stops. Hold on just a second, we'll get it slid up that way without cutting a finger. So we slide the blade all the way up to the stops. You'll notice it's under the two sides. And then we're going to thread the handle in here. And I'm sure as I mess with this more, it would get to where it wouldn't be uh, this cumbersome looking, but it's not really a cumbersome process. And then we're going to tighten. Now I'm using the actual upper part of the handle so that I'm not messing with the handle where it's splitting everything. And that's how it works. And it seems to hold the blade in nice and tight. And uh, these, like I said, were originally wedge razors, so I think somewhere along the way we're going to have to try to, uh, you know, put a wedge blade in. But for today, the pile is going to get to play. How neat looking is that? That's just a neat looking tool, isn't it? And I uh, originally would say, well, maybe this will be, you know, in the ladder catcher stuff, but uh, it, it's not a ladder catcher. It doesn't have any of the, the underpinnings for it, and it's not even old enough. You know, early 1900 stuff, we kind of roll that in, the early stuff, but this isn't along there. So, and that's what it looks like when it's got the blade all in it, sitting down over the uh, open comb there, which is, you know, neat in itself. So, we're going to give it a go. Now, I've got, uh, you know, I was off last night, and I think I might even be off two nights in a row. I might be off tonight because uh, I haven't got a call yet saying I needed to come in. Now, that can, of course, change. and of course, since I fell asleep last night, I've been up all day, so that should be fun if I have to go in tonight, but, you know, just the way it goes sometimes. All right, well, let's get our little prep done that we do, which is pretty much, as we all know, just a little face wipe. I don't see any need in a whole lot more. That just goes to show how things change, because when I was a uh, newer shaver, getting into things and really excited with things and whatever, I was really 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 big on uh you know prep was a big thing and now i just don't think it is i'm sorry i mean if you do that's great whatever i agree a nice hot towel feels good i love going to the barber and my barber does an neck shave and then they take this warm towel out of the heater and it folding all over your head and everything and it's like wake me up in a few minutes you know because i'll start snoring before long a little good old shave stick now let's uh while i'm thinking about it I've noticed a trend with shave sticks where it looks like people are using a whole lot of water on the shave sticks to get things started. I don't think that works as good as just getting a little damp on it because I think when you just got it kind of damp that you're rubbing soap off the end and you get better coverage of soap on your on your skin. Now I could be wrong. It seems like if you got just a whole lot of water in there and it's all sloppy and you just slide I don't know if that does as good. If it works for you, that's great. That's not something I'm going to, uh, not something I'm going to rant on, but you may try. There's no need to bloom a shave stick. Let's get that out of the way now. That, that could be a little rant if I saw a whole bunch of folks blooming, blooming shave sticks, because there's no need in blooming a shave stick. But dampen the end, your face is kind of damp, you rub it on and you know, you'll learn how much soap to put on as you go. I gotta go through and count how many shave sticks I have these days because it's more than a couple. And I actually remembered a few. I shaved the other day with the DR Harris Arlington and I got to thinking, wait a minute, I've got DR Harris Windsor in a uh, shave stick. So, you know, gotta remember these things. I got so much stuff, sometimes I forget. So anyway, the Vintage Williams is of course gonna make a really, 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 you know, you'll have to call back in a minute. Um, Making a shave video, I'm shaving. Don't interrupt my shave with a phone call, you'll have to wait. All right. Or you can leave me a voicemail and I can ignore the voicemail. Something interesting to know, maybe. Fuzzy doesn't listen to voicemails. Hardly ever. Very hardly ever, because usually it's just telemarketers or somebody wanting money or something like that. And there's no law says I have to answer voice. There's no law says I have to check the mail. You know, jeez. No law says I have to answer the phone. Just so you know. All right, so there we go with some nice, nice, nice Williams, vintage Williams ladder. I was going to check the other day while I'm thinking about it and see if I could see. Yeah, this is uh, from the Glastonbury 
Connecticut plant with J.B. Williams. And uh, I can't read everything that's on the old Shea stick, but it did come from the Glastonbury plant. That was a question someone had asked the other day, seems like. Okay, still shaving. You'll have to wait. So here we go. Make sure everything's nice and tight. And as usual with these old, especially the old vintage razors, we're going to check and make sure everything behind the blade stops and there's nothing sticking up and sticking out. Because, uh, you know, <laughs> that, that'll leave a scratch. Let me tell you. And here we go. I'm expecting a lot of blade feel for some reason on this one, just looking at it. I'm not, well... Not as much blade feel as I thought, actually. That's actually a pretty, pretty nice, comfortable shade. Doing a good job. Yeah, let's we'll see if we roll along here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nothing wrong with that shave at all. Nothing at all. You can look down in the sink there and see how much, uh, how much hair it's taken off. All right, we went from a phone call to a text. I'll get with you in just a minute. And as usual, there's nothing, uh, you know, there's nothing super uh, crazy about using a razor we've never used before. It's shaving, angle, pressure, technique. And you just find a good angle, which is kind of normal with these things. It becomes natural after a while. You make sure you don't got the pressure down too much on it. And you shave, even though I've never used one of these before. Not a big deal, but okay, nice. I got to show that off again. That is just a gorgeous looking, gorgeous looking razor. All right, well, first pass it over with, check it out. Took all that old stuff off and it's just nice. Just nice stuff. So I got some other interesting stuff in with this particular lot. I got a baton handled star 1912. It's got like a maroon, reddish maroon. I think I'm going to call it a maroon looking handle. That's pretty neat. And uh, I love the star 1912. Of course, they say just the same as the GM and Ever Ready's because pretty much they're all the same. Kind of like buying an Evan Root or a Johnson boat motor here back in the day. They were pretty much made the same way. Stuck different names on them. So we'll see how that goes. All right, get us a little cross the grain thing going on here. So I got that in and I got some stuff that's not going to show up at uh, Toast. It's going to have to go over to the shave did. Some interesting stuff. But that's okay too. People seem to freak out a little bit when Fuzzy don't use an SE, but I shave with pretty much everything, and I enjoy, one of the things I enjoy personally is being able to pick up whatever tool and uh, being able to shave with it and get good shaves out of it. I look at it as an insurance, prop, uh, insurance policy. Pretty much wherever I go, I should be able to find something to shave with. Now, I don't travel internationally. They pretty much don't let me out of the country you know whatever but uh if i did you know there's places where there's still predominantly straight razors and stuff and i could if i needed to i could find a straight razor and you know i could shave with a straight razor if i found shave vets i could shave with shave vets if i found cart garbage i could grow a beard while i'm gone yeah things you know just whatever comes my way i should be able to take care of can't imagine what it would take for me to uh, switch over to cart garbage for anything. I think I'd just grow a beard. Be done with it. All right. Trimmed up very nice around the goatee. That did a really good job. Look at that. All right. Well, let's get cleaned up here real quick. There's another phone call coming in. Wonder what the big emergency is. Wonder what a minute. That wiped off, dried off here. We're going to take a look before we do the touch-up pass. And what you're going to see is a razor that did a very good job. 
very 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 good everything nice and cleaned up with all that old stubble we had going on yes indeed that's all nice we'll get us a little witch hazel feels like we need to refill the witch hazel bottle for long i'll see if i can remember it you know usually i forget about that when it's raining you don't need to fix the roof and when it's you know or when it's raining, you can't fix the roof, and when it's not raining, you don't need to. That's the way things kind of go, so I don't always think about buying stuff. But we'll try to remember. All right, so we're going to do our normal cleanup stuff. A little bit of buffing under here. Make sure we got it behind the ear. Front of the ear over here. And we've already trimmed up nice around the goatee. So looky there. First shave from the Clark's Silver King with a, a new... Uh, that was a brand new, just out of the vault, or uh, whatever you want to call it, magazine vault. They always said it had an empty blade vault to do, so I've always called them a vault. I don't know. Uh, Pal Super, which did a super good job. Oh, yeah, boy, that feels nice. Nothing like a good shave to move you on in your day. I've been cleaning and doing laundry and getting things done. It's been put off for a while. I think I'm going to go pick up Agent 007, also known as 007, and uh, go do a hamburger this afternoon. It ought to be fun. First, we're going to splash on a little lustre. So, you know, these old razors are fun. It's kind of what keeps me in the game. Every once in a while, I'll leave my blind hog to find an acorn. So I think I found me something kind of nice to show off there. It's going to be a good addition to the collection. I'll get that handle crack stabilized, and uh, we'll move right along. So there we go. Well, hope y'all are having a good day, and I uh, hope you use your Williams on Wednesday. You know, Williams is good on any day that ends in a Y. It doesn't just have to be Wednesday when you use it. And, uh, you know, enjoy the time warp. Although, you know, as quick as the video ends, time warp's over. You don't get to go do Wednesday again. I'm sorry. It's just for the shape. You know, it's, it's all I've got. So if you get a chance, the uh, Folgers 1850, if you like a smoother coffee, one that doesn't quite have the edge of the really dark roast with the chicory, eh, you know, 1850 is not bad, but I won't buy any more of it. <laughs> Just me. But anyway, shave on, happy shaves, and we'll talk to y'all later. Thank you.